In the spirit of transparency, I should tell you something that happened on this program costs Nine News quite a bit of money. What we did here was our jobs, journalism. And what happened next was interesting. Here's Chris Vanderveen to explain. Well, today's August 1st, but more importantly, it's Colorado Day. Ubiquitous is a word. We turned other news now. A word not often found in newscasts. After a fire at an oil tank in northern. But during the first week of August, you would not be blamed for using the word. A surprise medical bill can be traumatic. To describe her. During breaks in our newscasts, her face was ubiquitous. Harder on us. With a scheme with called scheme government called government with a scheme Dr. called government Shortage. doctor shortages. Every doctor shortages. 30 second spots devoted to insurance bash, all funded by a group paid for by doctor paid for by doctor patient unity. A group willing to pay the nine new sales department $108,675 to run 98 ads during that one week. According to Federal Communications Commission records reviewed by Nine Wants to Know, that payment represented the single largest ad buy by far within the Denver television market. It does and have then, on August 6th... One thing, Dr. Patient Unity, your about section is lacking the about part. The Nine News News Department dared question who might be paying for all of those ads. But where did Dr. Patient Unity get the money? With no more than a P.O. box in Birmingham, Alabama attached to its FCC filings, Dr. Patient Unity represented the darkest of dark money in politics. It has yet to respond to any of my inquiries. Yet one week after our story aired, Dr. Patient Unity decided not to spend another dime with Nine News as it rolled out another ad. The money it pulled from Nine News started going elsewhere. 47 grand more with Channel 7, 42 grand more with 31, and nearly 100,000 more at four. Guess what story each has yet to do? Remind Senator Gardner that government rate setting could mean closed hospitals. And this isn't just happening here. More than a quarter million dollars for airtime across the Twin Cities. When CARE TV in Minneapolis aired an investigation. Texas Senators Cruz and Cornyn. And when KXAN TV in Austin, Texas did the same. A surprise medical bill. Dr. Patient Unity pulled its money from those stations as well, electing instead to spend more money with stations that have yet to question them. Yet to question why they have spent to date more than $30 million nationwide to scuttle congressional attempts to eliminate surprise medical bills. Thanks to this New York Times piece, we at least know this is funded in part by a pair of private equity firms that employ doctors, doctors who don't like insurance companies. Memorial, do you copy? Not that Dr. Patient Unity is doing anything wrong here. It's free to spend money wherever it wants. But if you're a journalist working at any one of a number of TV stations across the country still running these ads, stations still benefiting from your lack of curiosity surrounding the volume, the ubiquity of these ads, shouldn't you at least consider doing, I don't know, maybe something akin to a little journalism? For next, this is Chris Vanderbilt. If the folks upstairs in our sales department are upset about the lost revenue, they have not mentioned it to us, the journalists who work in the newsroom. And that is how things are supposed to function from an ethical perspective. Journalism separated from the influence of advertisers, even when it hurts the bottom line. Subscribe to the next YouTube channel for the best of next and some other stuff.